Hey friends, in my previous video, I explained about calculation of early start and early finish based on activity diagram. And this I am continuing in my series of precedence diagramming method. So in this video, I'll talk about how to calculate late start and late finish. So let me just uh, go ahead and uh, I, you are pretty sure about uh, this particular this particular screen, this particular slide. I have been using it continuously in my precedence diagramming method explanation. So there I have defined the activities, its predecessors and duration. And this is the overall diagram which we create. I hope you are well aware about how to create this diagram. And now we are calculating we have calculated in my previous video about um, early start and early finish using forward pass method and now we will be calculating late start and late finish using backward pass method so uh, if you remember in our previous video we have calculated six is the duration of this activity so we have started from zero However, uh, you should start from 1, but that makes it complicated. So it, for easy understanding, I will start it with 0. So 6 plus 0 equals 6. 6 has come here. So 6 plus 5 equal to 11. 11 has come here. 11 plus 7 equal to 18. 18 has come here. And uh, since and this also, we have done 6 plus 6 equal to 12 because this 6 has come here. And added to 6 is 12. Then 12 has come here. Then 20 plus 4 equal to 16. Now here is 16, here is 18, so we have to go for greatest one is 18. So it has come here. 18 plus 5 equal to 23. So this was all about calculation of early start and early finish with uh, using forward path method. Now I'm going for latest. Um, I'm sorry, now using backward path method and using uh, late start and late finish calculation. So uh, since we have calculated here early finish is 23 definitely late finish is also 23 that will remain same now what we have to do is we just take out five days or activity duration from late finish and it will give you late start so 23 minus 5 equal to 18 now guys now we need to uh, be sure here that this 18 comes to both places here also here also so this is 18 18 minus 7 11 11 minus 11 comes here 11 minus 5 equal to 6 so 6 comes here and now what should come here that i'll tell you why 6 has come here why not 8 and while when we are going for c e a or a c e to using backward path method then 18 has come here 18 minus 4 14 14 has come here 14 minus 6 equal to 8 guys when we are using backward path method then we will use list out of these two so 8 and 6 the list is 6 6 will come here 6 minus 6 equal to 0 so this is very important point to remember when we are using backward path coming back then we have to use list when we are going and using forward path method going forward we have to use greatest so if you remember from 18 to 16 we have used 18 here so we have calculated using backward path we have calculated our late start and late finish that means to keep the project on schedule we have to we can uh, by maximum uh, uh, the c activity where to start 8 and duration is 6 so by 14 it has to be finished so this is uh, the way and this is the idea of calculating late start and late finish or early start or early finish I'm sure you must have understood this and if you have any question or query drop me a message I'll get to you soon as early as possible next we will talk about critical path method and how to determine or identify the critical path stay tuned subscribe my channel thank you very much Take